What is the electrowinding process? Electrowinding is a process in which metal ions present in an electrically conductive solution are separated using DC current. This is achieved when a DC current is applied across an anode and cathode submerged in an electrically conductive solution and the ions are plated onto the cathode. We say that metals like these are electro-1. What are electrically conductive solutions? Electrically conductive solutions are formed when an electrolyte is dissolved into a polar solvent. For example, water. When the electrolyte is put into the polar solvent, it is dissolved into negatively charged anions and positively charged cations. When a direct current is applied to the solution, the anions are drawn to the positively charged electrode or anode, and the cations are drawn to the negatively charged electrode or cathode. The clue is pretty much in the name. Electrically conductive solutions are solutions capable of conducting electricity for the manipulation of the movement of ions formed by dissolving the electrolyte. Number three. What are the differences between electrowinning and electrorefining? Electrorefining utilizes anodes cast from impure metals. When the current is put through the solution, the anode is corroded into the solution, causing the metal cations to migrate over to be replated onto the cathode. In electrowinning, on the other hand, the metal is already dissolved in the solution, hence the anode is inert. Number four. Why do we need electrowinning and electrorefining processes? A lot of metals, especially non-ferrous metals, are hard to find in nature in their purest form. Usually, these metals are found in their mineralized form and need to be reduced to their metallic form for further usage. Electrowinning is a both cost and energy efficient way of doing this, which is why these components are used often for pure metal production and recovery. Number five, what are the most commonly electro-1 metals? The most commonly electro-1 metals are copper, gold, silver, zinc, cobalt, and nickel. Electrowinning as an extraction process is especially important for copper and silver. And with advanced Vortex EMU electrowinning technology, the process is even more efficient. Ensuring the purity of metals to be plated to as high as 99.999%, along with the ability to deplete metals to low concentrations of even less than 10 ppm. Number six. Where can electrowinning be used aside from mining? Electrowinning processes can also be used for wastewater treatment and general recycling. The principle is still the same. Any impure material can be leached into a conductive solution. The DC current is then applied to the solution and the desired metal can be extracted. Of course, there are certain limitations, such as metal concentration, temperature, acidity levels, chemical components, and more. When it comes to wastewater treatment, electrowinning is a win-win solution. Less soluble metals make their way to the landfill, along with the recovery of valuable metals, which can be sold to offset the processing cost. Number seven, how is electrowinning used in recycling and why? Electrowinning can also be used as a processing step for the recycling of non-ferrous metals. Non-ferrous metals can be recycled infinitely without losing any of their properties. This feature makes electrowinning an ideal process for the recovery of pure metals from complex mixed metal feeds. In many cases, it is cheaper to recycle metals than mining ore, processing it, and extracting the pure metals. And this is especially true considering continually decreasing metal grades in existing mines and deposits. Number eight, which process is more frequently used, electrowinning or electrorefining? Deciding on which process to opt for will depend on the situation. Electrorefining is used when the anode is cast from impure metal. Electrowinning is employed when the metal is already dissolved into the solution, or when it is more feasible to use a hydrometallurgic digestion step as opposed to casting impure anodes. Electrowinning can also be used on a smaller scale and for more niche applications. Both electrowinning and electrorefining can achieve high purity metal exceeding 99.99%. Number nine, what are the issues of conventional electrowinning processes? For the most part, electrowinning is a rather straightforward and simple process. As the process advances, the concentration of the target metal is depleted from the solution as the metal is plated onto the cathode. As the concentration of the metal decreases, so-called depletion zones start to form around the cathode. These are zones where the concentration of the target metal is lower than in the bulk solution. And this can be problematic, as if there are metal ions in the solution, they can start to plate onto the cathode, resulting in impurities and low current efficiency. Number 10. Is it possible to improve the electrowinning process? Luckily, advances in electrowinning have overcome these problems. Vortex EMU electrowinning technology offers an alternative approach to conventional electrowinning. 
ensuring much better results. EMU electrowinning technology uses cylindrical cells in which the electrolyte is rapidly circulated past the electrode at very high velocities, which overcomes the issues associated with depletion zones and enables for the depletion of metals to much lower concentration while still achieving the highest purity of metals possible. On top of that, EMU electrowinning cells are closed systems which eliminate acid mists as well as other noxious gases, making it a much safer place to work.